Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a very quick one and it's a very, very lovely, cool feature that is now available in Blender 2.91. Now, what this feature is, is once you select an object and you hit Shift and A and go over to the volume section, you can now create an empty. Now, once you create an empty volume, guess what happens? Once you go over to the modifier, click down here, you now have the mesh to volume. So this is a very cool, nice, lovely, feature updates that is now here of course we're going to talk about more things which have been happening within the community during the weekly uh, update so keep an eye for that there's a couple of things you guys may want to check out but now if you go here you can increase the density and you can do a lot of things with that so if you come over here and you simply turn off your stuff which is the mesh yes you can now see this and obviously you can take a look at this wherever and however you choose so let's click on this button over to you know ev and of course you can get some very nice rendering but then you can also do a lot more so if we go back here and bring out the mesh select this object delete that you know we still have the volume here i can tap shift and a one more time and let's go ahead and get susan the monkey so once we get susan the monkey tap ctrl and three on the keyboard to get the subdivision because we want to keep her smooth let's apply that and now if we go over here we can simply make susan the monkey this so a lot of people may have always wanted to see a feature or something like this it's very interesting to see that it is now here now once you make this or you know once you convert any object to bdb which is what it is right now you can also play with certain things so we can increase this to 128 and you can see it even gets cleaner and you can also choose to increase the density so depending on whatever you want to achieve you can start doing these things right here if we go over to the shading and you want to preview this within the shading if you go right here you can turn on the scene light and also the scene world and once you do that you can select your light let's bring that light right about the point like so and you should be able to preview this so if you jump right over to Eevee, it still does the same thing because at Eevee, you know, with Eevee, you can literally see these things happening. And yes, you can also render this with cycles. Something which I think they are still going to be implementing pretty much soon is um, attributes. Because right now there is practically little or no attributes that you can do with this. I mean, none which I have seen. Obviously, there might be something in the pipeline, but I have not seen that. So you can also turn off the fill. So if you don't want to fill the entire thing, you can turn off fill. And at the same time, you can change the resolution from, you know, voxel amount to voxel size. And this is going to vary depending on the object that you have. And then if you simply go over to your shading and click right here, you will be able to get a brand new principle shader for your volume. And then you can control what color this thing is going to be like. Obviously, we have talked about tools like Embergen before, which you can use to make very, very realistic, real-time simulation and export them as VDB. I'm going to link that in the description in case you haven't seen that. But with this here, it is a step in a good direction and I'm quite excited about this particular feature. Another thing which I would like to share with you guys that I tried is if you also think about running this with an animated object, it is possible and yes, it works. So with this right here, if I tap Shift and A and switch over to volume, do the same thing. So let's quickly run through that and grab this dude, go over here and close to get that out. Let's also, my keyboard is broken. Okay, so let's go right here and increase this to about 50 to get that there. Let's also increase this to about 256, something like so yep you notice we have a blobby guy and i can also dial down the exterior band so once i do that you notice we get exactly what we have so if we go over to the shading right now let's go through and play with the lights hopefully this keyboard gets to work so tap g on the keyboard and let's bring that right about the point like so okay and we can let's grab that and bring this right here bring this right over here yeah so at this point you can also get to see what we have so with a tool like this i think you know there's just a whole lot of things that we can actually start getting out of blender when it comes to 
VDB. So they're also talking about some pretty cool improvements to the Alembic. Of course, we're going to talk about most of these things during the weekly updates. So just simply keep an eye for that. So I felt this is going to be a very good stuff for you guys to take home for the day. And it is quite impressive to see that we have this feature. So if you're into animation and you're thinking about how can I create some VDBs out of my animated object? There you go. Thank you very much, Blender. And at the same time, if you've been wondering about how you can do some pretty cool stuff with Blender in regards to VDB, it is quite interesting to see that you can now create anything and convert them to VDB. Of course, with another scene like this, I know this is going to be, you know, a little bit ridiculous, but maybe there are going to be a couple of people that will want to try this one out. So what I'm talking about is maybe there are some people like this that may want to try out modeling with this particular thing so let's get, let's give it a shot let's see if that works i haven't tried this one yet so if we tap crashes so once you want to do things like you know editing it crashes i mean this is one of the problems you get to face with it at this point but for the most part for static objects that you're not messing around with it definitely works and it is a very cool feature to have obviously you can now create anything and convert them to VDB. If you want to get your Blender, you can simply go download today's version of Blender. And this is definitely going to help you, you know, try out this and also get some of those pretty cool stuff that is available with Blender 2.91 happening for you. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. I am quite excited about this and I found it, you know, very interesting and said I should share with you guys. Tell me what you guys think. If you like this video or you learned something from this, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.